Hello and welcome to a very chill and quiet playthrough with Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. But I, on the other hand, will not be so insane. Boop. Alright. Let us see what this has for us. Crash Bandicoot! Mm. That was a lot of notes strung into one. I'm going to try my best to remain in character for this episode, but I'm going to laugh. it very many times laughing because <laughs> I just cracked myself up so that's okay all right <sighs> there was a bird nearby all right let's start a new game all right here we go I have never played the Crash Bandicoot games, and so I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. Oh no. Yes, he sounds like one. Look at those high definition graphics. I remember this guy. <laughs> That is the sound one would make if you were Crash. I only remember these characters from the racing game. Wow, they got Crash in their grasp. Look at his face. It is oh. Oh no. Ow. That would hurt. Crash has a voice. Oh. The female bandicoot. Is that what they called her? Was she defined by her gender? I think not. Hint, use three. Aku Aku Max. To become invincible. Wow. What realistic water. Ha. I have... Alright, oh, okay. I'm moving now. What are my buttons? Square? Okay. That is... Wow. Uh, bing bong. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't... Nothing happens to the fruits when... When the, the crate explodes. X to jump. Hold X. Ooh, triangle for inventory. Great. This is seeming... Oh! Alright. He uh, is just gonna straight up disappear. Ubaka, yeah. You know, my great grandfather once told me that. There are the fruits. Why were not they not there in the beginning? Interesting. Oh, ow, I suppose. Boom, boom. How do I get this one? Okay. Got it. Ooh. I love how they just disappear into the empty abyss. Anyway, as my grandfather was telling me, yes, exactly, a bubaka. I asked him, grandfather, what does that mean? And he said, yeah, I'm not a worthless rat. I'm, I'm, I'm your great grandfather. I said, oh, I'm sorry, grandfather. Great grandfather, you. Yeah. Oh, sorry, great. So great. What does a bubaka mean? And I believe that, oh, I gotta check, oh, there it goes. Arukabara. I never listened to my great-grandfather, because, uh, I don't, ooh, boing, boing, boing. It's really quite difficult for me to not make silly voices in this, but because I am calm and collected, I will not. 
Ha, 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 ha. That's enjoyable. Oh, Owie. Oh, also much better. I'm not really sure how my shoes got to be that high. But anyway, a boobagar. Oh dear. I seem to not be very skilled at this game. Okay. Oh, is it like in Mario where I kick them now? Nope, it is not. I can only disarm their shells. Maybe that will be a mechanic that will show up later in the game. Om nom, go the fruit. That is quite pleasing to spin my body. <gasps> I'm gonna go left because left Twix are better and far superior in every way. A friend of mine disagrees with me and one time he hid a... Ooh, can I go back? <laughs> Ow! That is why left Twix is better. Oh no. I only got... Oh. Do I have to spin? Oh, I would have enjoyed it if I would like to spin. Oh, oh, oh my word! That is quite, quite mean to this poor fox-looking creature. I still feel that I am reacting too much. Can I save my game? Um, alright, well, got it. Anyway, my friend hid a left Twix of mine in the dorm room ceiling. Because you know they have those ceiling tiles. Urubagar. Yes. Will this hurt me? Yes, it will. <laughs> got it. I got the crate. Can I jump on this thing? May I? <gasps> oh, wow. What an interactive environment. Anyway, sorry. I'm just so calm that I really have no concern with whether or not I finish the story in a timely manner. Anyway, there's some- oh, they just fall right down like little dumb Goombas. <gasps> oh, that was quite scary. Ow. Alright. My friend hid a left Twix of mine in those, you know, removable ceiling tiles that you see in office spaces. <gasps> oh, I've got a dashing sticker. How wonderful. He hit it in those- oh, okay. Why the angel this time, hmm? Urubagar. Oh, I will not touch the TNT, for I have learned my lesson. Goodbye, TNT. So I could not find that left Twix for some time, because it was lost. Oh, is that supposed to jump me in the air? Hmm. Can I step on that crate? Ah! Okay. What's this? Oh, my lovely friend sticker is not in here anymore. Did that? I'm a spin doctor. Haha, <laughs> what a funny and clever um, way to frame that situation. Don't those look like some kind of coins? Are we in China? Maybe that's offensive. Oh, there are two. Goodbye. C for crash? Oh, C for checkpoint. I understand. There was error in my ways. Ooh, a mushroom. May I lick it? Anyway. Let us continue. There is my lovely sticker. Oh dear. I'm sorry, that was a little too... That was a little too extreme for our playthrough. We will have no oh dears. This. Ooh. So how does this work? Boom. Oh, sorry. That was a little too exciting. I need to learn how to bring it down. Bring myself down, you know? Downtown. Like the good kids do, I hear these days. 
going to the downtown is a good way to either... Oh, the kids say that going to the downtown relieves the stress, but it seems that it also gives stress in some ways. You never know when a man might come up and ask you to buy his wiener, as in his hot dog vendor business. Wow, I'm just avoiding all of them. Look at me. I am just like one of those savage teenagers that goes to the downtown and avoids the wiener selling vendor. Can I jump on him? He just disappear into the ground. Very interesting. I am recording, am I? Yes, I believe I am. Don't hit me, please. Thank you. Alright, what is this? Can I spin? I really wish that it would let me spin since... Oh! Bonus! Here we go. That's what those do. Oh, <laughs> oh hello. Wait, oh, come back. Wow. That was quite a long level, I must say. <laughs> that was a joke because... It was short. <laughs> Ow. Okay. They did not feed me. I fed it. Oh dear. Sorry. Oh my. Hmm. I still have value. You still have value, Cole. Even if you fall in the ditch, I will not be phased by its happening. Because I have value. Nonetheless. Alright, I'm gonna be a little more patient. See, that, my friends, was a lesson in patience. Oh, ooh, ooh. See, I did not know that gap was that gap was there, but... Nay, I jumped over it anyway, because... You know, he kept one of my shoes. That is quite scary, if I was a small boy. You know what? No, I don't want to retry your level. That's how I feel about you. I'm going to retry the level now. Is that a, a prince symbol? No, that's not what that is. Mm. That Abubakar boy was saying... Mm. <gasps> a box that I may have missed. Good thing I am present to myself and my own inner energies. And I am able to pay closer attention to the things that matter to me. Such as this channel. Ah, I see. So it is not all about destruction. It is also about utilizing the things that are placed before us. Oh dear. Sorry. Got a little excited there. Here we go. I always want to do the double jump, but that does not exist in this world of crashing and bandicooting. If that were a verb, bandicooting, what would it mean? I think that it would mean the way that a band would start to go a little crazy after spending too much time together. And although Settling into each other's presence is a wonderful thing and can make for some great music making. Not that I would know since I have never made a piece of music in my life. <sighs> but can I obtain this without hurting myself? Boy, Crash really goes crazy with his fists. Oh! Sorry. Oh! Oh, sorry, I got a little excited there. I apologize for breaking chill mood. Not really sure what happened there. Do you crash? Wait, what was that? <coughs> got it. Not sure what he meant by that, but anyway, back to our bandicooting. Oh, I see. I got enough of those to see my friend. I think bandicooting is when everyone gets a little bit cootie. 
Pokemon that so I don't have to jump on these two? Ah, oh, I see. I must jump. Yeah, oh. So she was super excited. Before she was taken away by a villainous character. <laughs> Do you see that Aluvacar? That Aluvacar creature kind of creeping into that loading menu? It's quite, quite um, shocking. I see, so I must not jump too far. Aluvacar, thank you for that infinite wisdom, my friend. I will heed. Those words. Yes, see I did heed them indeed. Alright. Did not collect enough crates? Mystery crates? Sure. Got it. Oh, I'm so... That really is quite vicious. Poor Crash. He's traumatized. He begins looking around to see if more are coming to attack him. Hit him on the noggin. Or the noodle, as some might say. Even further still. The nude. As one might say. Nothing better than a big bowl of nudes. If I don't say so myself. Interesting. Boing. Boing. Oh. I'm rising vertically now. Very clever. This is a bonus level, but somehow it is not. Oh, turtle. That's what I must do to the turtles. But it's just for satisfaction. You know, that plant was uprooted. Very... ouch. I knew that would happen, but I was trying... Whoa, he says. That monkey was going quite, quite crazy. Notice how I did not say the word bananas. Because that would be specious. These bongo drums are really giving me a great vibe. I can channel their... Excuse me, my words. Channel their energy. And harness calmness within that energy. Oops. Somehow by hitting my head on it. Wow, I've made a friend. This crate likes to jump too. Anyway, there goes the monkey. Bye bye monkey. Really is quite a powerful move, wouldn't you say? Looks like I did not need those crates. You know, it seems like someone in my family is taking a shower, so I am going to pause the episode for fear of background noise. As you can hear it, it is making a kind of noise. Oh, it is gone now. <laughs> False alarm, what is this? Does it move? Yes, it does. Wow. Quite astonishing. Somehow it feels like this game was made by 5th graders, learning how to code. Did I just knock on Crash? Yes. Yes, I did. This is, uh... You know, but for a game that we're trying to harness our calm energy with... Ooh, he was beating his nipples. Supposed to use him, wasn't I, to get to the boo car? Hmm, mistakes were made. Excuse me. What was I saying for a game that we are trying to. Ow! Wow, oh, is it a human? Oh dear. That's a very small place. Would you like my shoes, sir? We did not have any shoes. For a game that we are trying to. Oh, same mistake again. Is that Elvis in the background? Hmm. Hello, king. Of country? Was that what he was? He was the king of something. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to jump over you. Thank you. Apparently his shield is not useful any longer when it is from above. For a game that we are trying to be calm during, 
This is a pretty good pick, I must say. I was playing this to see if it would... Hmm. It was very forgiving as well, which also reminds me of my inner mercy that I must have for myself. And... And... Oh my goodness, where the... Thank you, Google Cloud. I agree, good sir. Oh, fat. Face mask. Fask. <laughs> Whoa, Crush says. You know, I would... I would say well as well if I wasn't trying to be so calm. I wanted to see if this would be a good game for the channel for Baruch and I to play. You know, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I am recording this quiet, chill episode because I want it to be a backup for the possibility that Baruch may not be able to record this weekend or next weekend because as everyone as everyone knows a lot of people are getting bingo lately so many people have bingo now and everyone gets so excited that they have bingo that they just become sort of a nasty person because they gain the sense of pride from getting bingo you know, sir, your mask was, from what I remember, a lot darker than before. Um, you're much brighter this time than, than the last time I saw you. People have bingo, and their sense of pride just makes them really nasty of a person. And no one wants to be around them anymore. So many people are getting bingo. That... Most people are just deciding to stay at home because nobody wants to be around them. And even though people have this pride from achieving bingo and getting five spaces in a row, getting to yell out the lovely word bingo, they are not bingoing anywhere. They are at least, their pride is at least limited in a way in such that they may stay at home and be considerate enough for the people of that nature that must not want to be around them. I know most of you are not as intelligent as I am, but if, oh, as I speak of my intelligence, I miss the crate above me. I could have gotten two Abubakars, or two Fasks, as we established earlier. People have bingo, so they're staying at home out of consideration for their newly found nasty nature of pride that people don't want to be around. And I'm afraid that Baruch may too get the bingo. He still wants to go out and be with others that haven't yet gotten bingo and try his luck for it. And so it's very possible that he might get bingo himself, so... Ouch. Sorry, that was a little too extreme. It is fire. Crash would like to mention our sponsor during this episode. This episode is sponsored by fire. Thank you. Now, that is a joke from a channel called The Do. T-H-E-D-O-O-O. -O -O. Actually, I'm not quite sure how many O's there are in his name, but... That is the name of his channel, that is a joke from him and his friends during their Six Fire playthrough, I believe. Wow, that collapsed crash to the ground, that is quite unkind. I bet the person that drops those crates... You know what, I bet they have bingo. Only bingo pride would facilitate such abuse. Wow, they turned the direction all around on us. Hmm, you know, I, I take it back that this is quite... Quite a uh, creative game. You know, I wonder if that ball's gonna fall down. It looks like it is. And Crash's face and body movement is reacting accordingly. Earlier I said that... Oh. This game wasn't... 
very creative, made by fifth graders, but I would say these would have to be very intelligent fifth graders in order to come up with ideas such as these. That was a wall, stub my toe, don't mind me though. Now what was the point in crashing that crate if I am not able to obtain the fruit within it? This is a question we must ask among those who do not yet have the bingo. Now, I do not believe that is how physics would work with a rolling stone ball above a pillar with gaps. There would be some kind of reaction, physical reaction between... Ouch. Can I get off? <laughs> what a funny face. So am I? Yes. It doesn't put me back at the beginning. Very much like a Mario game in its forgive, forgiveness. Not, not the Mario Brothers games, but 3D Mario games, I'd say. I'll go through this wooden hole. It's like a... You know, I'm not going to make that joke because that would be inappropriate to our younger viewers. I'll tell you what, I'm very glad that you're here, younger viewers. For, at first I thought that that said erect. Wow. Crash has a, just a lovely voice. Truly, truly lovely. He must have had to go through a lot of self-shame and acceptance of himself before he was able to use that voice so confidently. <gasps> Which way do I go? Sorry, that, that gasp was a little, a little too much. That water doesn't really look like it would be deep enough to drown someone. But uh, perhaps this fox just has traumatic seizure every time he goes into the water. As you see, he's instantly dead. You know, it seemed like there would be some sort of struggle before it would be deemed hopeless to move throughout the water. That is quite a strong leaf to hold me in the water. I would think that I didn't do, think I did have, had, happened to have landed on, on that leaf, but it seems that, wow, something, oh, I got hit by something, not sure what, but I made a sound. That was close, I almost spun the crate rather than jumping on it, which is the more efficient way. Must have been a fish. I see. Checkpoint that crate often opens quite gracefully for being spun by my fists. You know, I'm not sure about this game for Baruch and I. Can I spin here? No. Just have to move quickly, is all. Not sure if this game would be good enough for. Who can I to play? It might be, might be a game that I should just come to on my own time. <laughs> wow, that is quite a great sound that those fishies make. I see. Hmm, it seemed I jumped a bit too far. <sighs> no. I still have worth. Laga 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 laga. <laughs> I quite like the sound of that fish. So there is a. See? He's darker now. He's in a darker environment. Why? Why is he darker sometimes and lighter in others? This is re a remastered game. What is happening with that? I seem to be getting a bit... a bit Irish. Hmm. You know, this is gonna be a bit offensive, but I think I'm just gonna go for it. We're gonna be a calm Irishman. Hmm? Got that. Not an Irishman, but an Irish person. Because you don't know if this character is a man or not. He may have a masculine voice, but... Who cares about gender these days, you know? It's just a construct, social construct that we came up with. And you say, oh, well, it's biblical gender. 
And they always say men and women and men and not women and men and not men with women and men with not women, women with not women and men without men. But I'll tell you what, little shorty, as the Americans say, <laughs> shorty. You know, I do believe there must be a secret down here, but those platforms were not ones that I could stand on. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Yes, I would agree, young fish. And you will earn many more words in your lifetime, such as man and woman. Which brings us back to our discussion of social constructs of men and women. In the Bible, there are men and women and men with not men and women without women. And I tell you what, that was a good run right there. Seems like that fish, that teethy plant, has a timer of its own and it does not depend on me landing on it anyway. I seem to have lost my accent, I'm gonna go back to it now. Um, so, I was not fast enough for that little leaf there. Anyway. These were historical accounts, written accounts, um, stories written down for record that are in the Bible. And of course, stories would be written in the way that social constructs are understood at that time. And so, of course, you would write it down in a way that would make sense with your current social con constructs. If someone wanted to be politically Politic politically correct during this time. Excuse me for my mispronunciation there. I, uh, oh, I get to see my babe. Sweet babe. Oh, those look like strange clams there. Oh, oh. oh sorry, I got a bit too excited there. That kind of ruined our calm mood. Wow, it even lets me try the bonus levels again. What a kind thing to do. Wow, wow, wow. Really can't believe it. That is so, so kind. Hmm. So, of course, the Bible would be written in the social constructs of that time. Just because it was written in that way during that time does not mean that the Bible should condemn it. You know. I'm actually not quite sure on whatever the men with men Bible verses are, but you know, everything came different with the New Testament. Why am I talking about the Bible? <sighs> I'm gonna stop now. This is not about politics, this is about escaping from that kind of stuff. Having a moment to relax, not think about the issues of the world, and just relaxing in you. Bring calm with your inner self, watching his crash, gets boxes thrown upon him. Wow. Well, I think this is a good place to stop. Thank you so much. Wumpa Islands. And I will Wumpa you a goodbye. Wow. What a great menu. Anyway, so, was this a jest or not? Was this actually like a completely different person that hopped in right away and was giving an Irish accent? Irish accent? Irish accent? Who knows? <laughs> Why I said that three times? Not sure. Not sure. Was that a jest or not? Am I just or not? Is my existence a just or not? I don't know. Goodbye. Ah, it's hurting my throat, talking so quiet like this. It's a whisper, you know, about your throat.